Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, where I wear these cool Bitcoin caps, look what a Bitcoin cap, and I say bam sometimes, in today's cool TA video, looking at some crazy cool Bitcoin charts, um, hoping you don't freak out, but zoom out, because these charts will tell you what Bitcoin needs to do next. Yes, we can't give you insight because the garden man is outside making some noise. Let's jump into the chart. Bam. Let us never ever be apart. Love carved in stone. Love carved in stone. Ooh, that's me and my baby. Love carved in stone. First bad of the day. Beautiful bam. Calm, quiet bam. <laughs> Guys, this is the day chart. Uh, on the day chart, you can see now um, that in the BAM indicator, uh, there was a short. And would we have taken that short on the day chart? Some of us trade on the day charts because they don't have the time to attend the screen 24-7. So then the day chart is a beautiful short over there. And we have a closing down below the yellow stepping line over there. And there is a lot of yellow over there. There is a red dot over there. Oh, let's me see. There. And we have the red line on top. And the bam bam cross that line over there let's see if i can make that up. okay over there so that's all the confirmations we need to take a short there is only one thing that is still concerning and it is that there is still a lot of green as well so you can see this green area over there which is not positive and the yellow line is very flat and then your experience comes into play because then we look to the left and we see happening here the same we had a short we had a candle almost closing down below the yellow stepping line, but that was really flat and there was a lot of greenish. So that didn't become a real short. This now is all depending if we break this red line, then it's a valid short to the bottom of here, 38 even. But I don't see this happening at the moment because the market is too bullish if it is up to me. So on the day chart, I wouldn't have taken that trade. Uh, maybe on the four hour chart there was a better trade but still nah it's also like indecidable how to take short or long so no trades there for me guys and um, if you want to know more about the bam bam indicator bam go to down below the videos and you can click the links and then you can sign up to the bam bam indicator you go to the bitcoinfamily.com and if you want to trade the bam bam indicator then uh, use these links to sign up to the exchanges femix $1,200 bonus, Primex with a 50% bonus, buy a $1,610 bonus. So use these links. We trade the Bam Bam on the Oryx trading platform, which you can sign up over here, clicking that link. Let's jump into the next chart, guys. Bam, over here. This is what you are waiting for. Didi, you told us yesterday when we break that line, and that is not good. And it was a 200 day moving average. This orange line is the 200 day moving average. This yellow line is the 200 day moving exponential average. Um, how can I show you the DEMA? You can see it over there. And this one is the EMA over there, the MA, sorry. So we broke on the daily that 200 moving average on the daily. We didn't break the 200 daily exponential moving average, which we are still finding support. And that one is around 44,266. So that is very important to see on this chart. Let's see if we can look over here. Uh, maybe it sees even better on the BLX. Yes, look on the BLX, we can see, see it even better. Uh, we have that moving average and we have the exponential moving average and we are still finding support there. This green line is the 50. So this one is coming up to make that golden cross. But that golden cross can take a little bit longer now because you can see the green line bending downwards. So if we would now extend the line you know it would be a little bit less um steep which would uh, make the golden cross later so 27 or august so that's another week so we also see on the bottom of the chart guys and um, the stock rsi we can see over here the blue line is coming down but when we bottom out we will also again go up so it's all about zooming out and waiting for what we see if we break that yellow line yes we could fall back to the green line at 42,000 us dollar 
all possible but let's see we can't predict the market we can just trade them bam this one is really cool because this one we have been keeping track on the last couple of weeks this is the gaussian channel and yes this gaussian channel you can see that we came to the top of the channel we tried to break out we didn't break out if we change into normal candles we can see it even better you know we came and closed one candle above it and the other one came down again so this gaussian channel again is making us go down um, will we go down to that midline 38 nah i don't see that happening i think the weekend is coming and i think that in the weekend um, you know mostly we get volatility and we will go up again but let's take a look at other charts so i help you a little bit more and um, bam also guys tomorrow i'm going to be in lisbon uh, free nft event you can sign up use my on twitter you can use this link eventbrite it's going to be in lisbon in a beautiful hotel i forgot the name talking about nfts talking about the bitcoin family having a lunch together and just making some fun in this beautiful crypto space so now um, let's jump into the last two charts bam over here this is the first chart guys um, this one is showing you the Bitcoin unrealized profit and loss and there is one thing that we can see in this chart that I shared yesterday on Twitter um, I think it's from Caprioli Charles or from Clemente will I don't know but look what we, what we are seeing now, the level of 0 0.5, this line here is the level of 0 0.5, that line. We are staying above that line. Every bear market before this, at that level, if we went down, we didn't come up till the next bull market. And if we go down on the level, then we have a bear market. So that we uh, saw that in 2018, and we also saw that happening here after 2014. In 2013, at this circle, we stayed above that 0 0.5 level. And that made us have the second run up in 2014, that double top. Do you remember? Double top. Now we are seeing exactly the same. We are staying above that level. Will we have again that double top? In my opinion, yes. In my opinion, we will going up with Bitcoin to 100k. And these numbers are telling us that that also was the that the fact in 2013 we stayed above that 0 0.5 level and that made us have that double top bam another cool chart that is this one i need to check where my face is on this one it's of course not on the right spot but now it is look the beautiful green plants on the back um yes here this is the exchange net position so the change of this one you see how many outflows there are this is almost one of the highest peaks of outflows from the exchanges ever here. We had two times earlier this year that was very high outflows, but now again, outflows means that people are taking their Bitcoin from the exchanges, which means they trust that the price will be going up because else they would let the Bitcoin on the exchange to be able to sell them. If they don't want to sell them, but huddle them, they take them off the exchanges. And that is what you see on this chart, that we see a huge peak of outflows in the last 30 days from the exchanges. And bam, here you see it even better, because here you can see um, exactly, uh, do I have the right chart? Yes, uh, here you can see the net transfer volume from and to exchanges. So um, you can see these stages we went through in 2020 and you can see the outflow dominate accumulation over here then we saw the green come in that's the balance when there was balance between in and outflows this is the bull market distribution phase then we get into the inflows that are dominating a lot of bitcoins went to the exchanges because they wanted to sell at this price of 64k and now again we see a shitload of outflows a huge peak it's telling us the same a lot of outflows means that we have an outflow dominance which means that is bullish for the impulse of the price because people are taking away their bitcoins from the exchange they don't want to sell yet they expect the bitcoin price to go to 100k and then start to sell that is what i think or what i think of these charts but bam who am i i'm just a long hair dude with a cap saying bam sometimes in the video um, i hope you did really enjoy this video if you did enjoy the video give the video a thumbs up share with your friends and family subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell and please leave a comment what do you think about these charts do you think we will break the 200 uh, day 
exponential moving average, the yellow one, the one that's a little bit lower, or do you think we keep support on that one and then we make a beautiful run up to try to break 50k again. I wish you an amazing Thursday um, and a beautiful weekend if I don't see you tomorrow because tomorrow I need to get up at 6 and drive to Lisbon two and a half hours so I don't know if I'm able to make a video and if I will be able to make a video it will be a video in Lisbon in the car or whatever at the event so maybe a live stream but not a early morning TA video thanks for watching see you later again and maybe else tomorrow oh yeah today a video about why we went to the doctor yesterday see you later Bam. Well, she got a way to make my